Ready to install your Facebook tracking pixel on your website? This video is going to walk you through how to access your Facebook tracking pixel through your ad account on Facebook, and then where to put it on your website. I am Amanda Robinson. I am the digital gal. I teach Facebook ads with my Facebook ads four week bootcamp training and my swift kick in the ads membership training. Let's get started. First, we need to get over to the ads side of things. Let's click on ads manager right from our home screen here. If we're looking at it through ads manager, we can click on our menu screen here, and then we want to find events manager. If you don't see events manager in this top screen, it may be down here in your options. So we're going to click on events manager. Once we're in events manager, if you see no pixel and no information here, check the ad account that you're on. If you've never created a pixel before, we're going to have to go through the steps to create your first pixel. If you already have a Facebook pixel that you have created and you just need to go in here and get that pixel ID, stay tuned. To create your pixel, we're going to click on connect a data source. Then we have a choice. We want to either connect it from a website or connect an app. In this case, I'm going to show you how to connect from a website click get started. And then we want to use a Facebook pixel. We'd like Facebook to create that pixel for us. And I click connect. We have to give this pixel a name. So I'm going to call this Amanda Robinson's pixel and my website. Excellent. Now I have a choice. I can either go with a WordPress integration or Google Tag Manager, or I have options here to select another integration. So let's click on select another integration. There's lots of other options in here. I can connect it via uh, Shopify. I can connect it to HubSpot, Eventbrite, um, lots of different options in here if you have any of these integrations. So I can close that. Continue with pixel setup. Let's choose a WordPress installation. Click on WordPress and click confirm and choose additional options if you want. So this is new. You can measure more of your customer's journey by enabling the server side API. That's a little more advanced. Right now we want to focus on, in this case, using advanced matching. This will allow Facebook to find things such as email addresses and phone numbers that people are entering onto our site and help tie that back to your ads. So let's click continue. Now we need to download the plugin. Uh, and it's also giving you a little note here for Safari users. Um, make sure you control click or right click the download button and download the link file. I'm not on Safari, I am on Chrome. So I'm going to go ahead and click download. And this file is downloading. Now continue. Now it's walking me through. It wants me to go to my WordPress and wants me to go to plugins and add a new plugin. So let's go over into WordPress. I'm currently using the plugin called Insert Headers and Footers. This is how I've been traditionally installing my Pixel previously, but we're going to try this. So let's go to Plugins, add a new plugin, upload plugin, choose file, downloads. I might have to unzip that file first. Uh, choose file, install now. And we can do this at a later date as well. Great, now we can go and test events in, uh, in Events Manager, or we can go and create an ad, or we can look at Facebook Analytics now that we have our Facebook Pixel installed. From here, once I refresh this, now I should start to see some different options. There we go. There's no activity showing yet because I just installed this. So when we come back and check again soon, we'll see some page views taking place on my page. Once you have that Facebook pixel installed, say you need to go and grab that pixel and place it somewhere else, such as on another external landing page that you want to track. You can now find that pixel hiding right in here under add events and from a website. So if I click on here, I can manually install that code myself. If I want to look for all the partner integrations, I can use this and I can find these partner integrations that it's compatible with, such as Eventbrite or Ticketmaster, Shopify, um, all these different options that we have in here. But in, for this case, I want to go back in 
from website, install code manually. From here, I can copy that code right here and then go and paste it where I want it. Or I can actually email those instructions to myself. And I do recommend this so you have a copy of that code for yourself. And I'm going to email it to myself, amanda at the digitalgal.com. Email has been sent. So let's go and see what that email looks like so you, so you know what to expect. And this is what the email looks like. It'll have my pixel ID. It also has the entire base pixel code. You would copy this whole thing. Now, if I wanna see if the pixel is working, I can always go over and click on test events. Here, this allows me to put my website URL in here. I'm using Text Expander, by the way, to autofill that quickly. I just have keyboard shortcuts I use for different web URLs, different snippets of text. And once I'm over here, I'm testing events. So if I click around and move around my website and click into different areas, uh, it will record if I have events recorded anywhere. So for example, when I click on that button, it is recording an event and I can scroll down, etc. And now if I go back into Facebook where we're testing that, now you can see that it's tracking that I had a page view and I viewed content because that's one of my um, one of my events that I have tracking using the event setup tool. And then I can see that I viewed my Facebook ads four week training uh, program, which I set up using a custom, custom conversion. And because I hit another page, it's now tracking a second page view. So all that activity is being recorded right here. From the overview tab, I can see the pixel activity that is taking place. I can also see how many page views, by the way, page views are what you're Facebook Pixel will track by default. Every time somebody views a page and then clicks to another page and clicks to another page, each of those are counting as an individual page view. So one person can have multiple page views within a session. Uh, if you're tracking other events, in this case, I have Calendly set up and I'm tracking when people um, schedule a, a book a time with me. So I can see those different events that are taking place through a third party integration. I can see all of my standard events so these are standard events, view content, schedule, initiate checkout, lead. I don't have any activity happening on these. I've made changes to my site. Um, whereas view content, I have lots of those taking place. So I can see the standard events, which kind of come stock, uh, stock loaded with Facebook. And if I want to look at my custom conversions or my custom events, these are ones that I have set up myself or, um, like I said, through third party integrations that don't come standard with Facebook's list of events. And then I can see all events. I can also see up here, if I click on what websites, this is showing me what websites this pixel is currently installed in. I'm tracking it with my website. I also have it on my calendar booking tool and I'm using it with my messenger marketing chat bot. I am Amanda Robinson. I am the digital gal. I teach Facebook advertising through my Facebook ads four week bootcamp or my swift kick in the ads membership training. If you want to learn more about Facebook ads, feel free to wander on over to the digital Check it out there and I'll see you on the next video.